Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back to City Skylines. We're uh, going to get another episode started here. We're going to do hopefully a bit more building than the last one where we were just basically trying to knock out issues, which, granted, probably we're going to be doing some more of that. Like this heating issue, for example, here. We probably need to get a bit more heating. So let's go ahead... Get that hooked up. Hopefully that'll help out a little bit. Well, it's four degrees outside, four degrees Celsius. That's pretty cold. That would explain some of those uh, issues with heat. All right, so we also have a massive amount of demand for industrial. I have turned the I've gone ahead and I've turned on the uh, nuclear power plant. I've noticed something about the dam here is that it's apparently unreliable. The water on this map is very, we'll say it's very peculiar. So I'm going to turn off the, the dam is active once more. So I'm going to turn off the nuclear plant for now. I'd like to find a better home for that. That was kind of just an emergency nuclear plant. So I'd like to put it up somewhere in the hills up here. Possibly we can put it down near the, uh, somewhere down here as well. That's another possibility. I think I'm probably going to ignore a good portion of the harbor district right now, but I will expand this highway. We're going to get this highway nice and expanded and, uh, do I want to get into the harbor district? Because once I get into it, I want to design it, and I want to flush it out with industry. Hmm. Because we do have a large industrial demand. I think, well, we'll see. What I'm going to do first is I'm noticing that there's a lot of dead people over here, and I'm noticing that the that the hearses are simply just not getting to them. We just have a large bank of incinerators right here. And they are moving out, but they're, for one reason or another, they're just not getting there. Now, one thing that is a concern, and I do need to rectify, is I need to make another one of these interchanges here, which is always fun. I'm going to make one similar to that this messy one we made last time, but this one will be hopefully a lot more elegant because, well, <laughs> it's just going to be uh, over water again, so that's always easier. So I think we'll just need to do something like so. Lower it down a little. I'd like the angle to come off of it be to be fairly shallow. Or the angle going into it rather to be fairly shallow. So how about I actually start with that? I think that's probably the best I can get. And here's the problem though, I need to do this on a curve. So something like so, except it needs to be further down. That could work. And then the goal with this one is to just kind of twin the two of them. Get them as close as possible. Almost 
like the illusion is is that I'd what I'd really like to do is just have them share a bridge. Which I could actually probably pull off. Hmm. Do I wanna try that? Oh, this is extra complicated because I'm using on ramps versus the two lane highways. That is a problem. So we need to pull that back. So I actually wanted to use the two lanes the entire way. There we go. Actually, did I? I'm not sure. I feel like a two lane might be messy. Kind of looks kind of cool though. I think I'll keep it for now. We'll just make an exit here. Have these two just kind of be as close as possible to one another. They might be too close at this point. Yeah, they're too close. That needs to be cleaned up a little. Also, this needs to be connected to this for now. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually give this a try, guys. Let's take a crack at this. Let's see if we can... We're just going to pause it since it's a nice, bright time of day. that. I'm gonna fiddle around with this. It's not working so well. Oh wow. Alright, apparently we get directly into suspension bridges if we don't have the curve tool here. That's problematical. Alright, so we're gonna clearly need to do something a little different here. That's not gonna work. So maybe this will work. Yeah, something like that'll work. Let's do something like this, combined with something like this. And then let's try to link these two pieces of highway to uh, the bridge right here. It may look a little awkward. We'll see. Yeah, so far it's looking fairly awkward. Actually, here's a thought. If we do things just slightly different, can get the desired effect. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Ah, oh, the problem is it's not going down as well. That's that's another issue. So this needs to go down by one. away and then go like that. I like that. I think that looks really good.
Cool. Now we just need to uh, we just need to add on the off ramps here. Man, that looks really awkward. Is there any way we can do a little bit better than that? Nope. <laughs> nope. As a matter of fact, it looks worse. Oh my god, look at that. Alright, so. Here's what we need to do. We need an immediate elevation here. Immediate elevation. We need to keep it elevated, because this actually dips. So we need it to go straight, like so. There we go, that's fixed. That looks better-ish. Well, it's an improvement at the very least. It's a little bit of a wiggle in there, but it looks pretty good to me otherwise. Like this right here, kinda, kind of a bit of a problem, but I don't think it's worth it to just redesign the entire thing for nothing. Anyways, guys, I was doing all of that because we do want to get, oh, and also there's this, der. <laughs> But eventually this is not going to be here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to just get rid of that right now. And what I'm looking to do now is just to actually create a fairly large cemetery area. It's going to be a box, basically, but... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a large area that'll hold several cemeteries. And the idea that I'm thinking with this is that we will... Actually, I want to have the cemeteries right next to the road. So the idea I'm thinking with this cemetery uh, zone is that we're going to collect bodies from this side of the river, possibly all over the city. Cemeteries are very inexpensive to maintain. They also have quite a bit of, uh, quite a few hearses that uh, can be sent out. So it's going to be similar to how you manage garbage in some cities. In this case, it's going to be uh, deceased humans. So you just send them to this area right here, and then once this area starts to get full, we exhume the bodies, we send them directly to the incinerators, and then that'll free up space once again in this area. So that's going to be the cycle that I'm going to use. And I think we just... What can we do here? I would like to make a nice little... Uh, I guess that's not going to happen. I was hoping to make something a little bit more rounded. But I guess we're... You no, know, I said I was going to do a box, so let's do a box. Let's 
suppose I could throw a few parks in just for flavor. So then put another road right here. How much of a box is this going to be? Also, how wide is the cemetery? Needs to be one tile over, just by one. So you see this right here? We need to connect right there. And that's enough to fit another cemetery in. Cool. That'll work. All right, let's finish off the road. I'm going to put cemeteries on the outside as well. We'll do that. squeeze in a few perks no okay well I think that uh, I think that works quite well let's give this a name let's name this prospect district uh, no no. What do I want to call it? I don't. I was first thing that came to mind is necropolis, but that, while it's accurate, you know what? Screw it. I've already offended enough people in the last video. Let's just dig the hole a little deeper, so to speak. I'm sure I misspelled that. I'm positive I misspelled that. Anyway, we'll leave it for now. Cemetery, and it didn't even save it. Bastard. Oh, I actually got cemetery. It's supposed to be an E instead of an A at the end there. All right. I believe necropolis is spelled right. You guys can tell me in the comment section if you uh, care about that sort of thing. I'm sure there's a few of you out there. Anyway, this is all set up. It may need some uh, power and water, though. That might be helpful now, wouldn't it? Apparently, no, it does. Okay. I was thinking, wait, it doesn't? That's cool. Nope. No, it just wasn't getting there yet. All right. So, water. You know what? We'll just run the pipes underneath the roads for now. There we go. Everybody should have water and power now. 
We are still low on water and power, by the way. Because our city has grown quite a bit, actually. Angusburg is up to 66, almost 67,000. So I'm going to squeeze in a few more water pumps upriver here. Get those hooked up. Probably does not help that we have a nuclear power plant on the go, even though it's not active at the moment. That is probably not helping in the least. And I'm going to drop two more sewage plants here. One, two, okay. Alright, cemetery usage. 3% at the moment, that's good. I do, however, want to see death care buildings. Let's take a look at them. So this one's actually emptied, completely emptied. So we can stop emptying it now. This one's still got a ways to go. This one's also got quite a ways to go. This one's completely empty. It can accept new bodies. This one has police issues. Yeah, this one's had police issues for quite a while now. Let's actually just put a police station here. Maybe, maybe the cops will actually get around to uh, checking out the crime, the criminality that is going... Oh, you know what the problem is? It's this freaking intersection right here. That's the problem. That's a dead end. That is a completely dead end. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what happens when you go down that way. Let's take a look at the other end and see. Probably nobody goes down that way. There aren't any problems down on the other side. Oh, I chewed up the power lines in the process. Okay, let's fix that. And we're losing power again. Why is this? Uh, okay. <laughs> the dam's uh, water level is fluctuating. Okay. All right, so we got our Necropolis Cemetery up and running. I would like to uh, try to get some more people in. I think the zigzag pattern has proven to not be the most effective, although traffic-wise it might be. No. <laughs> it just infuriates people. Okay. Well, there's a lot of people who are taking public transit, though, so that's good. Traffic-wise down here, this area is still a great big mess. But things, I do believe, are getting better. I think I'm just going to make a couple of tweaks here, guys. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put another one over here. And one down here. Just going to extend that bus route a little bit just to get it around the square just a bit more. Now, traffic for the rest of them. It's fairly non-existent in the lightly developed areas. So it's mostly just these heavily developed areas that are the problem. Part of 
part of the problem is also that uh, we're sending out all the damn hearses. That's certainly not helping. I may want to reconsider the positioning of these cemeteries, period. I may just want to put parks in instead. Or I may just want to stop emptying them. That would probably help with traffic immensely. Or traffic lights. Those could work too. Anyway, we were going to grow the city, even though it does seem to be growing organically, which is very good. I approve. Uh, what do we need? Not enough goods to sell. These guys are actually quite happy at the moment. We've got... Oh, what's this? Superb Strategy Games. That's my kind of company. ATAT... ATAT -AT Mobile. Nice. I approve. Is there a way that I can, like, mark this as a heritage building? Too bad. Too bad. All right, well... Downtown is thriving, which is excellent. I'm very happy about that. In fact, it makes me want to expand the office district here. I worry that I'll just muck everything up if I do, but... Uh, yeah, I might extend it by another block. Assuming that it's two-way streets, it is. Yeah, let's extend this by one more block since it's doing so well. What did I put here? Medical clinic? Can I move you down just a skosh? Space already occupied. Oh, did I just put, like, a bank of buildings here? Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we'll expand this a little bit. I think it's just one, two that we need. No, we're actually just literally keeping it... Separated by one. Well, you know what I'm going to do at the moment just to get a good template set up for that? I'm just going to do this. No. Okay, that doesn't work as well as I thought it would. Whoops. Setting it up like this is not going to work. Never mind, guys. I thought I was clever. Apparently I'm not. I think we need to do that then. That should get us the re desired result. There we go. So just one more block added in here. This is bike lanes that we've added onto this one, right? Six lane with bike lanes. Very good. And still no traffic lights. Cooper Boulevard. It's a good name. Yeah, okay. So this is good. No traffic lights there either. Parks. Probably want to put in a nice park somewhere here just to keep the property values as absurdly high as they are. Basketball court. Plaza with trees. Let's do a plaza with picnic tables. Do one of those. Beach volleyball court, that seems a little out of place. So does the riding stables. Do we have any landmark buildings we could throw down? We haven't actually thrown down a lot of these. 
Statue of Shopping, Plaza of the Dead. Oh, I've got a perfect place for a Plaza of the Dead. A friendly neighborhood park, Fountain of Life and Death. You know what, guys? Let's uh, throw down with a Fountain of Life and Death. We'll go ahead and put that here. We already have water. We don't even need to get more water set up. Perfect. So yeah, let's go ahead and zone it. And I think we can manage to maybe do something a little more elegant with the power lines. Yeah, let's uh... Maybe link them up to this park. And then maybe just link them up here like so. We can get rid of this. Maybe get ourselves a bit more room for office space. There we go. Angry Clans mobile games. Mm hmm. Now then, the Plaza of the Dead. Oh shit, some of these have bodies in them and we can't. Hmm. Oh. That's too bad. So I really wanted to put it into the necropolis now that I realized it was in the game. Hmm. can't squeeze it in there somehow. Could put it on the main road. Unfortunately, I really didn't design this area for that. Let's exhume the bodies from this one, from these ones. Just hopefully send them to not the crematorium. Okay, so this is finished. So for now, we can just blow those up. And... I'd like to put the Plaza of the Dead in the center. It's actually... There we go. Do we have any other creepy-ass stuff that we can throw in here? Before I get too carried away? Fountain of Life and Death. Seems like the uh, fusion power plant has all the odd stuff. Tax office, death and taxes, got it. Great library, the observatory, opera house, oppression office, science center, ah, now we're getting science. Eden project, aquarium, expo center, High interest towers. Cathedral of Plentitude. Already. Stadium. Modern Art Museum. Sea and Skyscraper, Theater of Wonders, 
and monuments we need population 90,000 for it well I think I like this new setup here guys I mean I kind of wanted to uh, just make it a pure cemetery but I think this is a good setup too I think this is good and it's a nice touch to throw in the uh, plaza of the dead there so I approve Now then this area seems to be thriving. Very good, very good. What was this? That was just a helicopter pad. I thought that was a great big sign of there's something terribly going wrong with your city and you need to look at it now. All right. Uh, well, we do need to start building things, although the demand for industry and offices have gone down with the office buildings. Let's get a quay set up for now. Shoreline required, eh? You don't say. the river nice and embanked. And this is probably a good place to stop it just for now. Stop it over there as well for the time being. Okay, and the highway. Not sure what to do with the highway right now, so I think I may just leave it as is. I'm gonna expand this road. to this distance. Hook it up to the uh, parkway again. Do I have this labeled as a parkway of some sort? Birch Avenue. Let's rename that. Riverside Parkway. this let's see what the uh, logical conclusion for this road is if it goes just straight directly south This one will run into trouble, it looks like. Oh, we have a traffic jam of trains. What's going on up here? I think I see what the problem is. 
Yeah, we want to get rid of that uh, train line right there. I haven't already. The orange line here it just has to go, unfortunately. So that's gone from there. It's gone from that one. And Metropolis, look at that. Just on its own. We're not making nearly as much money as we were at some point. Yeah, I think we killed that line completely then. Well, so be it. They can use the train station here as a bypass and get in each other's way. Lovely. Actually, didn't I have a more elegant solution here? Yeah, didn't I have something where they were actually going through the train station somehow? I swear I did. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was uh, something I was experimenting with. That's connecting, and then this one just goes to nowhere, I believe. No, it actually goes all the way over here. And that's the final stop on the route. It shouldn't be that hard, honestly, to keep traffic flow down. Although, you know what the problem is, is that there's an outside rail connection. That's the problem. I don't think I actually want to deal with that one right now. We do have another zone, however. We can expand this out. I think I'll wait till it's daytime before we actually do that. So I want to get a good, good look at what exactly we're expanding to. So that, that again, has me wondering what do I do in the meantime? Probably try to squeeze some more people into the city. Our industry, our industry bar is filled up again. Our downtown commercial hub here is finally thriving. And they're desperate for more, desperate for more commercial space, but also for more uh, business, for more goods. They need more goods. So maybe we will uh, go ahead and get the Harbor District developed here. Um, not sure what to do about this dam though. Well for now it seems stable, so I guess we'll let it stay there for now. I reserve the right to get rid of it at any time. <laughs> this I think I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do in terms of uh, layout for this actually 
I think having this be a dead end is a very good idea because it'll allow the trucks to just make their deliveries and just turn around and go back the way they came. So I think I will actually... I'll probably end up making this fairly grid-like, but we'll do something like this and then this. Or maybe something just more like that. And then we'll have some sort of highway access. little loop area just in case. Better watch our power lines here. Okay, we're fine. We also need to get the highway down here too. And the railway lines as well for that matter. Okay, so we're just gonna clear out this track for now. Also, we're going to clear out this split in the railway line. So we're going to have this thing go straight all the way down now. Actually, you know what I want to do now that I'm uh, very close to the edge here? I think I want to uh, put in a multi-platform endline station. So we're going to do that. I think that's a very good place. I mean, this is about as end of the line as you get. We're right next to the water. So maybe something a little similar to over here, which I again reserve the right to expand upon. I have no idea if that's perfectly centered or not. It's not. How far over does it have to be? Yeah, just one square. Cool. Distance too short. Second one right here. There we go. Up. For the time being, we'll hook that up there. That is temporary, though. That is not permanent. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I would like to take this, and this is still going to be very rough. This is not it's not a finished product by any means, but I think I'm going to do that. And 
unfortunately it's mostly freight coming into the city via this though. So that'll deal with passenger traffic. We can start the game going again. Maybe I can get some sunlight. Maybe we can also shorten this highway a little. What we can probably do here at this intersection is just kind of... We probably want to do actually a highway. Yeah, so we can do the highway just terminating right there. That could work. That could work out well. So that'll be the terminus of the of the north-south transportation corridor right there. Can live with that. Oh, small problem. Small, teeny tiny problem. Those tracks need to go down way sooner than they do right now. So they need to go down about here. So, let's get the road built. Let's get the highway hooked up. There we... Nope. <laughs> nope, that's not going to work. Try again. not as smooth as it might be, but let's get the railway lines down so that we at least have a guideline to work with. Alright, sorry about that guys. So actually the external hard drive I'm using to film this series with Fraps is uh, it just kind of filled up and cut off recording without me being fully aware of it. I didn't see the uh, Fraps counter change color to indicate that we were no longer active. So anyway, this is the completed product, at least for now. We're going to do some more work. We're going to expand it some more, but this video is getting pretty long. So I think I'm just going to throw down a cut in a little bit. So the train station's there. We've got all six lines hooked up. And for now, we've got a dedicated line for line number six going directly into this end of line station forcing them to transfer to another train line within the city, which I like quite a bit. So I may have some sort of spur that runs off and uh, force it to do the same for freight. I'm also going to have to really uh, think about what I want to do with this entire quarter, quite frankly, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do. I've got this set up. I'm thinking that I want to have a dedicated freight line for one of these tracks. Also, the uh, northern part of this needs to get sorted out. We're rapidly approaching the final the final upgrade here, the Megal Megalopolis, which is going to be at 90,000 people. So we're actually just like 21,000 people away from that. And then we get to... Uh, pursue in earnest our dream of uh, my dream and hopefully your dream as well of getting the city up to say 2 million people so 
Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you do enjoy these videos and you haven't already. Also, feel free to leave a like or a comment. That helps out quite a bit in Let's Play series like this. Especially since we're like 10 or so into the series. It tends to... <laughs> viewership tends to drop off quite a bit. So, increased visibility is good. Let's me know that you guys are still interested. Thank you for watching. My name is Ybot. I'll see you guys next time.